Hey, what's going on, guys? This is Excess Magic with Tiano Tunnel. Today, I'm going to show you how to route a uh, AT&T HTC One X running the 2.20 firmware, HBoot 1.414. Um, <clears throat> here, I have a brand new One X, and as you can see, here's the uh, the current HBoot setup. <clears throat> as you can see, it's locked. S on. Has never been unlocked. Has never been tampered with. Brand new. So what we're going to do is uh, go ahead and root this phone and uh, unlock the bootloader and uh, that's it and this is a very easy setup um, it's basically a one click uh, root the uh, exploit is by DJR Bliss um, he created the X Factor root exploit for the uh, for the new HTC One X with 220 and we're going to use the <coughs> Ruzi one click tool from Hassan 2000. Hope I pronounced that right. Okay, so what we're going to do first is we're going to go into the phone, go into settings, go to developer options, and enable USB debugging and hit OK. After that, plug in your phone. If on your computer it requi requires any drivers, I will have a link for those um, under this video as well. Now, Open up the uh, X Factor, which I'll have I'll have a link for this on the video as well. Um, drag it to your desktop. Open the folder you just extracted. Hit the Run command that's inside here, and watch the phone. You're gonna authorize two restore points. So go ahead and hit Run. It's gonna say Wait for device, and hit Restore my data. Hit OK. And hit restore my data again. Hit OK. And you can see it says set CID rebooting to bootloader. So the phone's rebooting. So it has just changed my CID to Super CID, which will let you um, install any order you, you want. Um, unlock the bootloader of HTC. Basically, the phone is unlocked and it's all yours. Um, now it says, now when it would bootloader. As you can see here, I hit press any key to continue. So our CID is one 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 one, and that's what it's supposed to be. That's super CID. With that done, there's our token. Okay. So what we're gonna do is copy this. Now, if you don't know how to copy this, what you can do is one way to do it is right click on the top of your command prompt, go to edits, select all. Go to edit again, copy, create a new text document. And paste your token in here. Just delete all of this stuff here. If you have Notepad++, it's probably better because you want to delete the info. Just hit replace. And put a space. Like not, no, there's nothing here. Just find why he replace, replace all. And now you have a clean token right there. See. So I'll save that. Then what you want to do is we want to do a shortcut here. Save some time. I also have the uh, all-in-one toolkit, and this toolkit is by. Hassan 2000, I hope I pronounced that right. This is a toolkit, and the X Factor exploit is by D, DJR Bliss. Okay, so props to them for that. Um, so open the toolkit up, this is the uh, raw you downloaded, drag it to your desktop. The toolkit also has the exploit in it, but it's an older version, that's why I didn't use it. Because um, the, the uh, X Factor on the forms is actually updated. Now, on, on a, when you open a toolkit, you can hit number three, register HTC development, and hit go. It's going to open up your your uh, your registration form. I already have an account, so I'm just going to go ahead and log in. Now, what you want to do is, yeah, there it is. Go to developer center. My bad. And uh, go to unlock bootloader. 
and what you want to do is select your device, go all the way to the bottom here, and you put all other supported models, and you hit begin unlock bootloader. Do you still want to continue? Yes. Keep in mind this will void your warranty. All right. Just accept to the terms. Yes, we can skip all this because we already did this stuff. Don't need all this. All right, when you get down here to the token part, we can go ahead and get that token we just copied. And we're going to paste it in here. Control C, just copy, Control V is paste, if in case you're wondering. All right, successful. So we just check our email, get the token, pop on the phone. All right, so here's our. Uh, HTC sent us a uh, token here. So I'm going to go ahead and download this. And we are going to save it into the all in one toolkit folder in the data. Um, and just save it right there. Save the bin inside that. Okay. After that, go ahead and go to number six, which is uh, unlock bootloader. Hit go. We're in a bootloader right now. And there you go, see? Do you want to unlock? Hit yes. Oh, that's right, I'm sorry. The volume down for yes, and then hit power. Um, when you do this, it's going to wipe your data on your phone. So keep that in mind. So if you want to do, uh, if you want to save your data, make sure you make a backup or back up your pictures or whatever, whatnot, uh, just in case it wipes that too. I don't remember if it wipes the uh, internal storage or not, but I think it does. But I'm not 100% on that. Uh -huh. But I know it does wipe the phone data for sure. Alright, so the phone's rebooting. Actually, I'm going to go right to bootloader and make sure it's unlocked. So you can do the hold the power button until the lights start flashing down here. Alright, hold volume down and power until you get into your bootloader. And there you go. We are unlocked. So all I gotta do is uh, push recovery in here and we're done. And there you have it. Um, I'll go ahead and show you how to do recovery real quick. This toolkit actually has one right here. So if you want, just go ahead and hit flash recovery, select you know team win. So waiting for the device. Oh, I got going. I'm sorry. Go and make sure you're in fast boot when you do this. And there you go. Recovery's being flashed right now. It's rebooting. Okay, we're back in bootloader again. Um, what I did was it rebooted the phone again. So, being that you can't reboot into recovery from Android unless you know your ADB commands, hold the volume down and power again. That's like we did the first time. Uh, and what you're going to do is go into recovery. And after this, what I recommend doing is. Uh, doing a backup. This text here, don't worry about that red text, it's normal, it happens when you unlock your phone. Um, if you restore your phone with REU, it'll go away, it'll be fine, it'll, you know, it'll relock your phone and all that stuff. Okay, so we're in recovery as you can see. Um, if you, the first thing I recommend doing in here is doing a, a backup as the, the phone is right now. Uh, reason being is, phone's hundred percent stock. Um, being at the 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 ROM, the ROM is stock, the uh, boot image is stock, so it's all it's all 100% uh, factory now. And that way, if you have to go to AT&T for whatever reason, you can restore that backup, and there's no root in there or nothing like that because the phone technically is not root right now. It only has recovery and it's unlocked, so we have to install root still, um, or flash ROM already has root installed because root is only application. 
it's not a uh, it's not built in the bootloader or none of that stuff. Um, so go ahead and run your backup if you want to make a step a factory backup. If you don't, you can skip this step. Uh, next step is open up the toolkit again and select permanent root. Hit run and do this one recovery or whatever. It's all it's going to do is push a zip to your SD card on the phone. And it's going to reboot your phone into recovery. Okay, so we're back in recovery. So we're going to do is hit install. Look for the zip file you just push, which says super super su, and then go ahead and swipe to confirm. Okay, it's been installed. You can see there. Go ahead and hit reboot system. And after it reboots, you're going to have uh, super user installed, which is root on the stock AT&T ROM. This way, if you don't want to flash any ROMs, you don't know how yet, you can use have your phone rooted. You can use wireless tether. Um, testing on backup any other rooted apps okay the phone's booted back up now we're going to check if we have root there's two ways to do this there's one way is um, going to the play store and download root checker and then it checks if you have root I'm not going to do that because I'm not logged into the, my google account right now so I'm going to skip that step what I'm going to do is look for the actual super user on here which is right there Go ahead and run that. And no, thank you. Let's see. And there you go. And you have you can unroot the phone if you want. But this phone is rooted right now. So you have root on a stock ROM. And it's still, you know, 100 percent AT&T. Now if you want to flash a new ROM, I'll show you that in a new in another video. Um, because on the 220 bootloaders, since they're so locked down, you have to actually flash the boot image separately. Um, especially if you wanna, you're going to flash a different kind of ROM, like uh, a different base, like a 241, 240, uh, or a ported ROM, or CM10, and so on. You have to flash the boot image after you flash the ROM, or before you flash the ROM. It's up to you. So the phone boots. If not, you're going to get stuck in a boot loop or a soft brick. It's no big deal. You can get, you can get out of it. It's not permanent. But, um, yeah, that's it. So, um... That's how to root the AT&T One X on the 220 firmware. So basically, I'm gonna go through the steps real quick. We used okay. So what we used was the the X Factor root exploit. All right, by uh, DJR Bliss. I'll leave you a link for this thread so you have the updated version. We used the um, the all-in-one toolkit. And uh, we use that to to flash the um, I'm sorry to flash the bin file to unlock your phone, and it has other features too. So I recommend keeping this, especially if you're on this 220 firmware or the the, the uh, 1.14 H boot, um, because you can flash kernel with this. You can reboot in a bootloader if you need to. It has like shortcut commands. It's really nice. Um, you can root your phone again if you restore your unrooted backup if you wanted to. Um, if you lose your recovery, because that happens, um, you can restore your recovery here. Just flash it from uh, fast boot and all that stuff. So uh, it's a nice little toolkit here. So props in for that. Um, if you guys need any help rooting your phone, if you have any problems, let me know. Um, I'm I'm more than happy to help. Um, so that's it. This is Access Manual with Team Eternal. If this video helped you any, uh, share, subscribe, like us on Google Plus. Thank you. Bye.